Hi, Veronica. Good morning. Happy Good to be morning. here. Good morning. And you're wearing red. Of course. I have to honor the color of your business. <laughs> thank you, Veronica. And thank you for your time today. I'm excited for you to share your story. So I think we should go back before Samba Kickstart, what you were doing. You were working as a diplomat in Paris. So tell us a bit about how you started actually an online business before Samba Kickstart. Uh, definitely. I love these moments. I love to recall those moments because, you know, you changed my mind in 18 minutes. It was really 18 minutes decision from I'm not joining Kickstart. Why would I until I need this? And this was really 18 minutes separated these two moments, but I'll get back to it. Uh, as you said, I was in Paris. I decided to quit the job because diplomacy is prestigious, but it's among four walls. So I wanted to work outside. I work mainly in parks or um, at some swimming pool in summer. And this, that was the main reason I wanted the freedom. Yeah. And I already made in the first year of my online business $15,000, which was enough to have like free life so basically you would pay the rent eat some basic food sometimes have even um, possibility to buy some hygiene and stuff so basically this was my life and I didn't think anything else would be possible but I didn't even I, I didn't think about it I, I was in this scarcity mindset because I always say that you taught me to go from scarcity mindset to abundance mindset because oh. I didn't think I can't do it I wasn't even thinking about it like it's, but it was not like I cannot have five figures launches. I wasn't even looking that direction, you know what I mean. And then in these 18 minutes in that uh, summer business summer school, it was summer 21, 2021, you showed me that I can have better and bigger launches, help more people. For me, the crucial moment was when you said you can help more people write books yeah so it was not just about me it was about the the people you said you help more people if you have more like bigger launches I was like okay and my first launch right after kickstart I'm sure you're going to ask the numbers later but I made 14k so 15k in the year before you and 15k in like how, how long we had open card five days six days so yeah. basically with, with 10 within 20 weeks of joining kickstart you were making yeah. as much as you would do in a whole yeah. year yeah, it was amazing. And, and it was like easy. It wasn't, you know, I didn't, I mean, I didn't sweat it. It was a lot of work, but it yeah. was nice work, fun work. So basically, uh, because I was already leaving my job in Paris, that's also important because I was moving from country to country, packing one apartment after four years, unpacking in the other apartment in Prague. So you can imagine the mess itself, just that. Plus, All you during kickstart. All during Kickstarter, exactly. That's why I didn't want to join because I thought the timing is the worst possible. I yeah. had to teach my successor everything. So because I had quite high position, I was uh, uh, vice chair of a budget committee of OECD. So basically I had a lot of responsibility. So I had to teach someone during Kickstarter while yeah. working full time, while moving apartments, moving country, driving 1000 kilometers, like, you know, you can't imagine more crazy period. And, and timing was not optimal, you could say. Yes, exactly. But... <laughs> I think thanks to Kickstart, I didn't really focus on those challenges that much. And thanks to those challenges, I was just doing the Kickstart, like you said. So do this. I did it. Do this. I did it. Yeah. And that's why it worked so perfectly. So I'm really happy about it. So you mentioned you changed your mind in 18 minutes uh, and you already had an online business and uh, $15,000 is not too bad. But obviously, we know all that you can't really live from that like a good life or even provide for family. Uh, and uh, especially not if you live somewhere outside, uh, like in Switzerland or Iceland, <laughs> I think it would last for three months. Um, how did, you know, why did you decide to join Kickstart? You had an only, you had an online course, you had an online business. Why would you then pay the money and do a program that was teaching you basically something that you thought you already knew? Uh, there were more factors. The main factor, I think, was your energy. 
because I, and I fully agree, and I always say it in my online business as well, it's not just about the know-how. I mean, your know-how is unique and it's great and it works, but your know-how used by someone else would not be the same because it's you, it's the energy and also the people you choose for your team. You know, like I had the chance to work closely with Natalie in Momentum later on. She's awesome and she would be, I, I suppose, in Kickstart as well. Ross, who's the main head coach, or as it called, the, the Zoom calls, it was like, I, I knew from the taste we had in this free part, what I would be getting. So I knew that, and, and of course your tough love, that you don't let anyone feeling sorry for yourself, for even in those moments, I can't do this, you know, it's too much. You don't go, oh, okay, so quit, you know, you, you, you just give the energy to us. So, and I felt I tasted this. So that was yeah. the main reason. And the second reason was that you spoke about the spaghetti marketing. And you said that uh, you sh we shouldn't just be randomly throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something would stick. You said we should have this essential model. You explained it in these 12 days of masterclasses, the same thing. And I realized what I had was each three months I was creating new um, online course because I had like four before I joined you. I am not in lack of ideas, but what I didn't have was the main, the basically what we learned in Kickstart was we have this free part, then you have the signature course, then you have this... Uh, follow up something so uh, it was something for me that I didn't I think I think I even, didn't even know before that you can have still the same course repeated like you do kickstart it's oh. not like you create new course each year and this is the magic because you know it works people know it works so this is what I thought and this is what I is what I learned and this is what I uh, why I decided to join to see how this is done and until today people tell me when they join for example now because I have tomorrow's second wave of launch nothing is done you know that almost but uh, I'm uh, selling something that people say they first saw me in summer 21 during kickstart course and now they buy yeah like it's amazing how it has long-term effects what you what you teach yeah but your change, your heart of change, you say that happened in 18 minutes. Can you explain? Uh, yes. Uh, well, because all this like moving and, you know, stuff, I was already going to freedom. I felt like I didn't need it. And then you said, OK, so you have this four free, uh, four week free course. Yeah. And um, you were telling people what they could teach. And I thought I don't have even idea for that. But since I already loved your energy, I bought this uh, extension where you had this hot seat. So basically, you took me to hot seat. And you brainstorm an idea for this four week course with me. And I learned, I realized I don't have this in my portfolio. I realized it was something I didn't even think should be at the beginning and it was like you know awesome and I said okay so if I think I'm this um I know it all already I don't need anyone how come that in like 18 minutes I can have such a revelation what imagine what will happen in 10 weeks if this happened in 18 minutes you know because you began I began I think with I'm not joining kickstart but still I would like to brainstorm this and in the end okay yeah yeah, yeah 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 I remember it's like I'm not joining the program, but I would still <laughs> like you to tell me what could be my free four week online course. And then I gave you an idea and I'm sure it was not 18 minutes because I can come up with an idea probably in three minutes. Yeah, no, no, sure, sure, sure. 18 minutes was whole, you know, after I paid. I mean, yeah, from yeah, 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 yeah. It until I sent the money. It was still ah, the so 18 minutes from the moment that I ha had a course idea for you. And, be, and until you actually bought Kickstarter. From yeah. my statement, I'm not joining your program to saying in chat, uh, I joined, it's 18 minutes. Yeah, yes, we both remember this. But I remember I came up very quickly with a course idea and you were like, oh. It was, yeah, it was, I use oh. it still until today. I merged it, of course, and my signature course is now a bit merged with uh, more ideas, but I still use that. And it's awesome and people love it, so. So you took a complete change of heart, from saying, no, I'm not joining this, I don't need it, I have an online course, I have online courses, online business, I'm making money, and then complete change of heart, realizing that actually there is more to learn and you can create a customer journey. So in Kickstart, you actually created this course that we came up with very quickly in a few minutes. And uh, how many signups did you get? Do you remember? 
Yes, of course. I had 660 signups, out of which 560 wow. joined the Facebook group and 70 continued with me afterwards to the paid course. So it was conversion above 10% and it was, uh, it was really great. And uh, I even thought that if you have less than 1000, because I was, uh, even with the scarcity mindset, I, I was thinking bigger numbers, what I should have. Yeah. It's even scarcity mindset feature, I think, because you think I yes. should have it. I don't have it. That's why I'm not good. Yeah, good enough because I have lower numbers than someone else. And yeah, and because there yeah. were people who were saying I have 4,000 signups, not even in Kickstarter, like a- around me, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, oh, 660, I'm a loser. But then out of 660, if 70 join, because you teach this, yeah, how to how to make it happen. So basically, this was something I really learned and use until today. And people who don't know this, they have 4,000 signups and 10 people buy. So yes, it doesn't exactly. matter. They don't, don't know how to convert. And I think yeah. this is, uh, you know, the free four-week online course is one thing to create it. But we teach you in Kickstart exactly how to yes. convert, yes. how to turn these people into buyers afterwards. And that's why we hear, not just from you, but we have had several interviews where people had over 10% conversion, even though industry average is 3%. Uh, and that's normally what I calculate, not just, so, so you don't want to be disappointed. So it's better to calculate the 3%, but yeah, many have over 10% because people are just so wild away when you have helped them for four weeks. Yes. yes. And so you made 14,000 within 10 weeks of joining Kickstart and you had been making 15,000 before an online business. What happened next? I have a very funny, uh, story moments what happened with these 14,000 because when I was uh, when we had this uh, like at the end of kickstart I was told I should join momentum this uh, one year support which is amazing but I didn't even think about it because if you have this approach that kickstart already costs a lot of money and I could get it I thought momentum is like way out of my league, you know, in, in terms of, of income. So I said, only if I made the money in Kickstart, I will join Momentum. Momentum was 14K. I made 14K. I didn't <laughs> make like five cents less or more. I made exactly the money. And I was like, oh, why didn't I say I want to make 20K? Because yeah. then I would have six for me, you know, <laughs> like this, because I felt obligation towards the universe that gave me exactly the money for Momentum. And then I had this call with, I don't know if, if it was Mary T that within a couple of months, you will have it back again. Mm. Okay. My scarcity mindset was already cracking. So I was yeah. kind of believing it, but you have to see, to believe. Two months later, I had another launch. I made 11K. So two months after finishing Kickstarter, where I made 14K, I made 11K. So this was the money I asked for. I didn't ask for at the end of Kickstarter, so I immediately got it back. And since then, every launch is at least 10K, but it's like 14, last last was 20. So like, it's okay. I don't go to that much high numbers. Like I'm not like Bara, mm. but uh, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm doing really well and I feel really comfortable. You're doing really well. Yes, amazing. And, you know, book writing coach, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it, you are helping mostly with uh, fiction books. It this, changed. It's yeah, changed. it has changed. Yeah, but back then when you were making those first launches, it was for fiction. Yeah. And a lot of people think, oh, people will not spend that money because it's a hobby. It's not, uh, it's just a passion project. You know, you also had those uh, thoughts that you yeah. could really have, let's say a six-figure business, uh, just selling people something that related to a hobby. Yes, exactly. And because back then, I didn't know how to merge fiction and nonfiction into one course. I bet it was, again, somebody in Momentum who told me how to, how to basically do it, because the method is the same. It's just the content, which is different. It's like your Kickstart. You teach yeah. Kickstart for book writing, sewing handbags, uh animal health basic Dog training yeah. nutrition yeah so this is the same thing with my method but i didn't realize that i realized that in, in momentum so at the beginning i wanted to have courses for fiction and courses for non-fiction mm. and you said this two businesses two ideal clients two unruly children something like that yeah so you made me choose mm. and i thought that 
fiction is uh, it doesn't bring money, of course. I mean, yeah. uh, you get and how much I get if I write a book. Like after, when I write such a book, I think I get $500. I'm not sure. Like uh, you see, it's so little that you don't even pay attention to the amount. It's just nice. You are paid author. Yeah. yeah. This, just to show that yes, these are book, book twins. We yeah. finished the books on the same day. So basically when I was choosing, you said uh, it's a limiting belief yet again that people will not pay to be taught how to write a fiction book. So I went with it because that was what I was doing back then. And it's true. It's like, I have so, I think the whole Czech Republic and, and Slovak Republic, because I have Slovaks as well, they all want to write a book. Yeah. The only thing was, because I'm in online business bubble, people ask me, why don't you teach us how to write a book, a nonfiction book with an online business? Yeah. And then in Momentum, I learned how to merge these courses so my course is now for both books like the the, the course i'm going to be selling next week it's yeah. again for non-fiction books as well but that was a process of course yeah. so it takes time just like we time. have also had an interview with judith and how her business evolved over time you don't come out of uh you know overnight success is 10 years finding out your customer journey is also six months 12 months and for some people a two-year process until they have found the perfect business model. And, you know, perfect is also not a good word because it it, 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 it sounds like it's something complete, mm -hmm. but actually yeah. it's evolving all the time. You know, we grow, we learn, we change our mind, what we like doing. Uh, you cannot say that you will be doing this for the next five or 10 years. You don't know. In three years, you can change your mind and you're allowed to. Yes, yes. People are actually laughing because they say now you have fiction, now we have nonfiction. So what's next? I teach your animal how to write a book or? <laughs> no, but it's beautiful how it has evolved. And I think it was uh, good to focus on fiction and prove to yourself that people are actually are willing to pay even for something that's a passion project or a hobby. And you were able to raise your prices for your courses. So can you share uh, a little bit about your courses? People are always curious what was the price of the course that you sold first after Kickstart and how long was it? Yes. Uh, so after Kickstart, I was selling a course for, um, I think it was like two, less than $200. Mm -hmm. I said 70 spots. And since then I doubled the price, but mm -hmm. I always sell like 50, 50 ish. Uh, spots. Yeah. So you went from 70 for 200, you doubled the price, but you still sell 50. Yes. Well, we can all make the math. You're making more money. I'm definitely, yeah, yes, it's definitely. And I also know that the reason why I don't have more people yet is that I still, I didn't have freebie. I created freebie uh, a couple of months ago, but I still don't have it basically. It's, it's out there, but I don't yeah. speak about it. I don't have the email sequence. So like just very randomly people find it so this year is one of my priorities to really focus on expanding my email database so that more people know about it because now I know I have not perfect but like you said it's stable the the, the yeah. essential model so I just need to tell more people I started TikTok it's growing perfectly so yeah. I know that I have many people from from there I will have so I I hope my next uh my next course, how do you call it? My next launch will bring uh, much, many more people, many more yeah, people. Yeah, but yeah, it's a good reminder. You know, uh, I shared in one of my master classes that uh, there were years where I neglected the email list growth, and you could see, and it eventually impacts your revenue. And it's some, it's just a reminder for all of us, and we do it, all of us. We can be successful in online business. Oh, email list. Oh. <laughs> You know, so a uh, very normal process that it comes and and that also that we have to create no, new freebies, maybe freebies that we had like a year ago or two years ago are just not, yes. I don't know, we don't like them anymore. We don't think they're right for our audience. Exactly. exactly. I, I actually thought about uh, a freebie also during Momentum, mm -hmm. but uh, it because it's so perfect, I didn't have yet time to put it out there because I'm still stabilizing the mode. Because since I expanded my course to the nonfiction books to the yeah. uh, with an online business, I'm making new, new videos for it. So it begins on the 16th of January, one week before Kickstart. But still, I don't have everything done because I'm just recording it. So I hope yeah. as soon as this is done. I will focus on the freebie and everything because it, it I have created even the mini upsell funnel yeah. from the freebie, which also I was taught in Momentum. Basically, Momentum showed me 
Natalie, who's my perfect, perfect personal coach, was in Momentum. She told me now I'm the young adult of the online business. You know, I yeah. can do it. I can yeah. do it. So I, I just have to now implement everything. Exactly. You have to implement everything you've learned. You've been in Samba Kickstart. You've been in Samba Momentum. And now implement everything you learned and take off and fly. So people are asking, how many times do you launch? So we know that your course, did you share how long it was? Was it 10 weeks? Uh, no, I didn't share it. Uh, it was seven weeks. Seven. Uh, so basically I thought because you said it should have, it should be longer. So mm -hmm. you have uh, four weeks is the free course. So I wanted to offer something at least uh, double, but yeah. I like number seven because I had something called seven keys to a successful novel. Mm -hmm. So I had six, seven weeks and um, then I merged it to my signature course, which is now 12 weeks. Uh, okay. So I merged more things, but the one so now it's I 12 weeks, $400. But it's part of the free four week course. It's this which was upsell, yeah. and, and there's something from the previous courses that I had. So now it's basically in because you also said I think in Kickstart or mm -hmm. Moment that we have to have a concrete outcome of the course. Yes. So for me, this is the first version of the book because the fir first draft. So the yeah. first draft is never perfect, but mm -hmm. in my course you can have this mess which is already book bookish. Yeah. And in this course, which will begin now, you can make it into a real book. So uh, yeah. yeah, so now it's 12 weeks, the first one, and this follow-up is nine. Okay, so just to explain it again, the free four-week course, you only did that once because a yes. lot of people seem to be confused whether you do it many times or not. No, you only do it once to kick off your online business. Then you have uh, merged the free four-week course into the course that you were selling before which was seven weeks so you took seven weeks plus four weeks it was 11 but then it's 12 weeks the course you're selling you're selling that for 400 uh, yes but it's still going up so that was now still and going up yeah the price and after the 12 weeks people have a messy draft of their book and then there's a follow-up program of seven weeks Nine, nine, nine weeks it was seven nine weeks nine weeks, weeks. sorry yeah we're like seven and nine we yeah 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 okay 12 plus nine yeah and they pay 400 or prices going up for the 12 weeks and what do they pay for the nine week program same price because uh, i uh there was there, there was some law in uh, in the Czech Republic which put me into higher tax uh, something situation so i decided not to mess with the price now before i see what happens Probably I will do it next year exactly because of this, but I decided to stick to the same price because it's shorter, but it's a big value anyway. So I yeah, of course, didn't want to have it cheaper, but it didn't feel right to have it more expensive. So I decided not to go into, into the pricing thing now. Yeah. And uh, because... I still, but like, I still think that if it's cheaper, a little more people buy, which... Uh, I still can work on, but uh, it's still quite cheap. My courses are, are still quite cheap. Yeah, they will go up. They will go up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's see if we have any questions for you, Veronica. Uh, so uh, there was someone asking about how many launches you do per year. Thanks to what Sigrun taught me, I will have just one big launch. Just every September, I will launch the signature course. And then I launched this follow-up course. Mm. So basically before Christmas is the pre-launch. And then after Christmas now is the, it's not going to be a big launch because like I already have 50 people in it, but like, since I thought of a new angle, so it's again, like half launch or how to call it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Maybe you can count it as two launches, mm -hmm. but then I have, of course, different ideas. I keep having ideas. So I want to have some even smaller launches of like workshops that will be paid and so on. So yeah. if you ask me about the big launch with the separate Facebook group, uh, I really make massive launches. Like I, I learned this from both Sigrun and Ingrid. So my launch is always like a show. Uh, so that would be once a year because it's once so year. hard that, uh, yeah. You, and even people would be exhausting. I think if I did it more than once, more than once a year. Uh, you said before you are, that started on TikTok and I've seen your videos. Yeah, look very engaging. I don't understand it because it's all in Czech. So yeah, you're teaching your courses in Czech as well. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so how active overall are you on social media? <laughs> um, 
I can't stop. I'm unable to because I enjoy it so much. For me, it's not work. For me, it's just a game. So yeah. I'm unable to stop playing. So I'm all over. Like for learning how to be on TikTok, I analyzed over 500 videos to see why they are so engaging. But since now I understand it, I have a tendency to make videos. So I each time I have like free 10 minutes, I make a TikTok. If I have for half an hour, I make some notes for, I don't know, workshops or something. So I'm like all over the place. Like every day I have something somewhere and, uh, but I don't do it because I have to. I do it no, because- But I think there is, a, there is a red thread throughout this question. A lot of people are like, uh, how much time do you spend on social media and da, da, da. But all the people we are interviewing, if you pay attention to this question and their answer is, they actually enjoy social yes. media because it's a way to talk to your audience. And that's what we want to do. And it is a part of what we do. So we are not counting the hours or seeing, you know, we just it's just a it's a part of our essence to want to communicate with our audience. Yes. And it's enough if I make one TikTok and somebody comments, thanks to you, I started to write a book. Like one comment, you yeah. know, and I feel like, oh, this, this makes sense. This makes so much sense. And it happened to me because before people tell me on TikTok, they are like 15 years old people. They are as well, but like mainly I have 18 to 26, something like that, the analytics show. And these people like really like enjoy. And they say, without you, I wouldn't begin. Without you, I wouldn't know how to do this. Even on Facebook, I do reels on Facebook, the same reaction. So it feeds the need to do more. Because yeah. if you see it's helping, it's not just out throwing out there. It's not, it, everything is strategy. I know I'm showing people it's worth to follow me and to write a book with me. Uh, basically, it's, it's, it's part of the warming up, of the warming up process. I would say if you want to help more people, be active on social media. Sometimes yeah. people will just take your advice and not buy from you. And that is okay too. We have to be okay with it. That's the abundance mindset. But the people who buy from us eventually, they found us first through social media. So we have to look at it as just a communication channel to our ideal client. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Veronica, it's been amazing to watch your journey from scarcity mindset to abundance mindset, making over 50K in your online business. And the six it's, figures it's, are around the corner. And I have a one last, because you said 50 now, but because you wanted me to give you numbers 21 and 22 in years. But I would rather say before Sigrun, after Sigrun. Before Sigrun, ah. it was 50K in one year. After Sigrun, it was 80K in one year and three months or four months, which is, ah. I think, bigger than if you go yearly. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, met... yeah. Sometimes the calendar months are not correct. So yeah. yeah, because I met you in mid-year. It's not yes. like now it's big year. So for me, the numbers skyrocketed even in 2021. So That's it's amazing, shows. Veronica. It makes me very happy. And I know the six-figure year is within reach. I hope. I hope. This year. This year. Amen. 